Digesting food, maintaining a healthy weight, fighting off pathogens. We are not alone with these complex tasks. Ruth Lay and her team want to find out more about our little helpers. So what we're really interested in finding out in my department is just how gut bacteria and the other organisms in the gut have co-evolved and adapted to humans. And so we look at this from a couple different ways. Uh, one thing we're, we're interested in looking at is if you look at people around the world and you know that people spread out of Africa and colonized into Asia and into the Americas and into the Pacific areas and so on, um, can you see patterns that their gut bacteria went with them? Another way we look at it is within a population, we know that people differ in terms of their genotypes and can we see how that affects the gut microbes and how have they adapted to being in people with different genotypes, for instance. And then we zoom in on very specific molecular interactions. How do they interact with our immune system to either not be seen or to trigger a particular kind of reaction that's not too severe, for instance. Where do they come from? What do they do to us? What do we do to them? The interactions between gut bacteria and humans are manifold and in many cases necessary for our survival. So you have to, you have to understand that when you're born, you're born this big empty vessel and you're, you're rapidly colonized starting at birth. And so what colonizes you? Mostly the microbes that come from your family members and the people around you. Then when you start eating different things, Uh, certain microbes might prefer certain foods. And so from day to day, you'll see fluctuations in the abundances of different kinds as they bloom or die down, depending on what you're eating, but they're there. And the microbes that come in and that are helped by, by milk, for instance, that are um, encouraged to grow um, when, when, you're, when, you're, um, when you're breastfeeding, for instance, these ones have a molecular conversation with the immune system and it's a way to train the immune system to, ex to, to expect the normal um, harmless bacteria. Curious creative researchers are more than welcome in the Department of Microbiome Science where they are encouraged to develop ideas of their own. I think when, when, when scientists, young scientists here join the lab, um, They have an opportunity to, to really delve into some of these questions and they can do that at, at, uh, at different levels of inquiry using different kinds of tools. And so they can find where their expertise fits best. And, and, and what's been the most rewarding for me is that some of the best ideas come from them. And so every day it's like, wow, what have you just done? And um, I can't tell you what a great feeling that is also because they work as teams. And they're, they're, I think they feel the excitement of working collaboratively on these, these big ideas and to start seeing them really move. And really, uh, this, the discoveries are coming now, um, and that's just a great feeling.